Okay, g'day everybody. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a splash page or a landing page in Adobe Muse. All right, so what a splash page is, is um, the first page of some websites that um, might have a graphic or an image in it, and that's a preview of the website, which a user would then click a button or maybe scroll to um, get to the main content. So here is an example of a splash page, if I just refresh that. Um, you can see that this one has uh, a nice animated kind of uh, text, some animated text here. It's got the uh, company's logo up there and it's also got a full screen video background and it says scroll for more. So this is a single page website so you can scroll to get to the main content um, or some of them may have a button which you press to enter. All right, now let's jump into Muse and I'm going to show you how you can make one. So first of all, what we want to do is um, we need to uh, create our navigation bar a little bit differently. Um, so I need to go onto my master page where my nav bar is on, and I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now, let's. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to create a new page, and it's important that you can do this now. You can create a new page to the left, and I'm going to call it Splash Page, and I'm not going to apply. I'm going to right click it, I'm going to go to masters and I'm going to not apply the master on it so it's blank. But if I don't uh, readjust my navigation bar, that splash page is going to appear on it and that's not what I want to happen. So delete, Let's. we need to drag out the um, navigation bar widget, which will be in our widgets library. Um, where is it? Menus, horizontal, and let's drag it out. I'm not going to bother styling it. Okay, so at the moment you can see splash comes in. I don't want a button that takes me back to the splash page. So what we can do is we can go into the options and menu type. Let's click manual. Okay, and by clicking manual, we're going to be able to manually type in the pages that we want. So as part of our website or mine at the moment, we've got a home and about and a contact. So let's click in here, click double click again until we get into the text, and let's call this home. Um, and click, and if we click off, and if you click on the plus here, you can then go back into this here, and let's call this about so that it matches. I didn't mean to press enter then, and back in here, back to the move tool, hit the plus button, double click in here so we can get in there, and let's call it. I can't remember what the last page was. Home about contact maybe. Let's just do contact. It's not going to matter. Uh, all right. Now, these don't have links to them at the moment, so we have to link every individual one, every individual one. So let's click on the home page button and let's go into our hyperlinks drop down tab here and let's link it up to home. Let's go to about and we link that up to about contact and let's link that to our contact page. All right, and if we wanted to add more, if we add more pages, you can just do the same thing and add more. All right, so I've done the navigation bar. Let's get back to our splash page here. Double click and open that. Now, if your header and footer sections are down, just move both of them up to clear some space, the header and the footer section like mine. And what we can do is I'll do it with by adding a full screen, full page image to begin with. So click your browser fill button, go to add image. And I'm just going to use this one of the clouds that I've got here click open and that's going to put my clouds on there. Change the fitting from scale to fill so that's going to scale, the image will scale up or down to fill the size of the browser no matter what device you're looking at the website on and that's all we need to do really. Now let's draw out some text okay so that we know what our site is and I'm just going to type um, site name so you would put your website name of your website or you could possibly put a logo on here as well back to the move tool get the text tab up let's make this nice and big so we can see it I'm not going to bother with making it pretty or anything because the video will take too long then I'm just going to show you the technique um, sorry okay um, the next part, let's add some text here, and we're going to have a and make an enter button. So E N T E R for enter. Let's move to back to text, or I could use this text button here. They both do the same thing. I'll make it slightly smaller than the other one. Close that. Close that. And I'll make the 
the size of the box a bit bigger. All right, now, say I want to put this um, element directly in the middle of the page. I can go into a line over here, and I can use my horizontal align and my vertical, but notice it's not all. If yours isn't working, you need to switch align to, it should default to align to selection, and it's not going to work. So you need to change that to align to content area, and then it will work. So that'll put it directly by pressing those two in the middle of the site. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna make the enter down there and use the snapping guide. All right, let's make that into a button. So to make it into a button, we select it. We go up to our hyperlinks tab and we want it to link to our home page. All right, let's preview it with Command Shift E. Here we go. There's our full screen image background and our enter button. If we click enter, it's going to take us to our site. All right. Um, now, actually, that. It's a bit, yep, all right. Um, now, sorry, let me double click that one for a tick. Okay, that's good. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, that looks a bit plain, so I'm gonna show you how to jazz it up a little bit. So there's a website here called Muse Resources, and Muse has things that you can add, it, add into the program, and they're called widgets, and they can do some pretty neat things. So if you go to Muse Resources, click on Library Widgets, there's quite a lot of free ones that you can choose from here. And there's one down here called Blank Auto Fader. If you click on this, download it, all right, all you have to do is um, open the zip file, double click it, and it will automatically install into your library over here. And you can see there's my one there. Now, what this will do is uh, instead of the text appearing on the screen, as soon as the website loads, it's going to fade in, all right. And you can you can set the delay of the fade in to um, be as as quick or as long as you want. So drag that in, all right. And I'm just going to close it for the moment. What you do is so you've got your auto fader in there. Grab your element and click hold and drag it up until the bounding blocks of the auto blank auto fader goes blue and drop it. And it's inside of it now. And I'm going to have to realign it to the middle like that. All right, now let's have a look at what that's going to do. All right, so then our, our site name or our logo fades in like that. Okay, so let's do the same thing with our enter button so it looks a bit cooler. Drag that in and let's get this guy, drop it in there and put it there. Let's check that out. All right, now they both kind of fade in at the same time. So I would prefer it if the site name or the logo faded in first and then the enter came in. So you can go into the little tab here, the blue tab, and um, you can, if you go into uh, this autoplay section here, it's going to automatically play in half a second after the page is loaded. So let's move that up to maybe one and a half seconds and this one will still have its default as half a second. So this will load in first, the other one will have a slight delay and come in second. There we go, and that looks a bit nicer than I can hear. Enter and go into the site. All right. Now, the other thing I'll show you quickly um, is how to add a full screen video background instead of this, um, instead of an image if you to the site if you would like to. So, browser fill, I'm going to throw that in the bin. And what you need to do is there are a few widgets that you can get to use for this. But there's one guy, this uh, YouTuber here, Zaza Laza, I think his name is. If you go to his um, YouTube page, this video here, in the downloads, there's a link there to download the free widget. And again, just download it, double click it, open it, it will stall and use automatically. All right, and how to use that widget is you go into your library, Zaza Laza's will be here, grab this, drag it in. It doesn't matter where you put it, okay, because it's going to play full screen anyway. Um, now the next thing we need to do is we need to upload our video file that we're going to use into our assets panel in Muse. So go to file, go to add files for upload and I'm going to use this um, double exposure uh, video that I created and open it and that's going to appear in our assets tab and you can see it there and it's important that you have the name of this right mine's called cinemagraph with a capital c dot mp4 so what we're going to do is we're going to use this tab and the mp4 file we need to change video to cinemagraph 
mp4 which is already written for us and that's got to be exactly the same so that it links to that file so the file name's got to be right um, also you could muck around if you need to put the sound on or not um, that's pretty much it you can click off and command shift e the preview it in the browser and there it is okay so we've got a full screen video background now there's one problem I've lost the text so let's just go back to muse and if we click this element here right click and let's go to arrange bring to front because we dropped that um, widget straight on top of our text and sent it to the back arrange bring to front and let's have a look and there it is okay all right so that's how you create a splash screen using Adobe Muse um, see how you go see what you can come up with and have fun doing that thanks see ya